Time now for the CBS3 Pet Project with animal advocate Carol Erickson, the PSPCA, and one of my new friends here. This is Lloyd, such he, a gentle giant, I say. He's wonderful. Mm -hmm. This is Lloyd. You know, he's hard to see because black sofa, I've got black pants on. He's there a black he dog. He's eight years old. His name is Lloyd, and he's going to be part of the Lonely Hearts Club adoption event at the Pennsylvania SPCA. We'll talk more about that. These are dogs that have been there for a while for Aww. through no fault of their own, and they mm -hmm. need to get a home. Lloyd is wonderful, loves dogs, loves kids so we'll talk a little bit more about him a lot to talk about today yeah. the snow came the snow is melting fortunately mm -hmm. we're going to be getting warmer weather and all year long your dogs need to be walked let me show you some walking video right now as we discuss walking your dog and it's very important thursday is national walk your dog day and you know walking your dog helps them uh physically mentally helps you physically and mentally but the very important thing pay attention to your dog's fitness level you do not want them sitting down on the on the walk pan then you have overly stressed them. They need to stop and rest. So they've got to build up their fitness level the same way you do. The other thing that I think people overlook, they look at walking the dog for two reasons, so that they can uh, go out and do whatever you don't want them to do in the house, and so that you can also get some exercise. But for a dog, getting out and walking is more than just exercise. It is that, and they need it. You'll have a happier dog that exercises, but also sniffing is very important to dogs. They have done research, Jan, that's uh, amazing. If you spend time off your phone walking your dog, because this should be a bonding experience oh, with them, watch them. They will sniff something, and if they sniff with their right nostril, that is a new scent to them. When it gets old or non-threatening, they'll switch to their left nostril. So there's so much going on when a dog takes a walk uh, that if you don't let them sniff, it's like you walking with a blindfold on. So spend some time, you know, get your exercise in, but then say, you know what, I'm going to give you a good amount of time just to sniff, figure Explore. out what the neighbors are up to, uh, you know, animals that may have come across, and you'll be amazed at some of the skills your dogs have that you just walk by stuff and they know something has gone on there. So pay very close attention to that. A couple little things that I brought. Yeah, makes it easier. This is uh, from my dog, Fred, who I adopted from the show. This is a harness. <laughs> He's got some Siberian Husky. I need this. He doesn't choke on that, and it's mm. perfect. This is a, a gentle leader head collar, which you can also use. You've probably seen these dogs. But sometimes I think these are easier to get the dogs used to, just a harness. But the same thing, just, just flip on my wrist, and he's, he's turned around. And also at night, either they can wear something that's reflective like this. I just mm -hmm. have it here because it's too big for my dog's necks. But it's there. So if anybody drove by, this would, this would pick up the, the reflection on it. Yeah. Do you have any advice for people who run with their dogs? Because I see that all the time. Yeah. I, you're dog needs to be as fit as you are. So if you see your dog dragging back, panting too heavily, right. sitting down, not wanting to move, you've got to stop right. because you cannot, just because you know you're a fit runner, that does not mean that your dog has had enough exercise to get that. Yeah. Let me show you a few animals for adoption at the Pennsylvania SPCA right now. We've got a great little cat here. Look at this. We have Annie, Aww. adult male, black cat. She's sweet, loving. She'll give you head bumps. She's just an Angel, look for Annie and Carson. He's five years old. He's orange, and I love orange cats. We'll flip over and show him. He was rescued by humane law enforcement when he was abandoned in other counties. Look at that beautiful tail on this cat. He is just a wonderful cat. And then we have Alexander. He's only one year old. He's a male pity mix rescued by humane law last year along with other pups, but now his court case is over. He's allowed to get out. And Alexander, wonderful dog. Now we have Lloyd right here. He, he again, his friend. Yes, <laughs> yeah. he again is part of the Lonely Hearts Club. Now that event goes on today. It is a $14 adoption fee for any of these dogs. We've got six of them that will be going to the Fish Town Center, and that's 1536 uh, uh, Frankfurt Avenue. And we've got the dogs Ask for Haley, Ashton, Boston, Drake, Prince, Colt. Also in Erie, there are other dogs. These are dogs that just don't show well in the kennel. Maybe they jump, or maybe like the dog I adopted. Fred was just too sad at being in a shelter to even want to get up and do anything. He has come to life. And yeah. so don't overlook these dogs in the Lonely Hearts mm -hmm. Club. $14 adoption. The event at, in Fishtown goes from 12 to 5, but this whole event goes the mm -hmm. entire week right through next Saturday. Again, don't let the low adoption cost mm -hmm. only people with great hearts for wonderful Absolutely. dogs like this wonderful dog, so Lloyd. <gasps> we don't want them to be part of this club. No, we this don't. 
love. We want we them in the homes of. that they deserve. Yeah, to adopt any pet, including Lloyd, just visit the PSPCA, 350 Erie Avenue. That's the headquarters there. Saturday and Sunday, 10 to 5, Monday through Friday, 1 to 8. And get out there and exercise, but be mindful of your dog. Absolutely, well. and let them sniff. Thanks, let them sniff, Carol. too. Let's find Lloyd at home, folks. Yes. That's